So we are gonna begin this workout in the leg kick machine and we are gonna use it as a hip thrust. Personally, I love this exercise. It's so good for the contact in the booty. It's easy to find the contact and this exercise in the leg kick machine doesn't hurt at all. So if you have problems with the regular one, this is a really good way to go. Also, when we are at the top of this exercise, I want you to squeeze the booty and hold for like a second or two. We are doing four sets times 15 up till 20 reps in this one. Because this, this is the first exercise that we are gonna do. So we want to find the right contact and the burning feeling in the booty. So we want to start off strong and we are doing the first exercise, the hip thrust, in combination and in a superset with this one. So this is a resistant band side kick. And if you don't have a resistant band, of course you can do the same exercise in the cable machine if you like. So important to think about in this exercise is to make the side of the booty to work. So we are just gonna push up the, the working leg with the side of the booty and just stand still with the other leg. And just as the first exercise, we are doing four sets times 15 up to 20 reps. Next up is also a favorite of mine and this is the sumo deadlift with a squeeze in the top. So you can either choose a weight that you are doing heavy, heavy deadlifts with or you can choose a little bit less weights and work with high reps. I am working with high reps in this one and up in the top I'm squeezing the booty and holding for one second. We are also gonna let the weights go all the way down so you get a dead lift from the ground and up. And just, just as I said before, it's so important to always have focused mind when you're doing the exercises because we want to have the contact right and you have to think about which muscles are working while doing the exercise. I am doing three sets times 12 up to 15 reps. So we all know that hip thrusters are a girl's best friend, right? So we are doing more hip thrusters. This time we're gonna work from the floor and up. You can either lie on a bench or on a step box, just as I do right here. We're gonna work in a drop set in this one. So first we're doing regular hip thrusters and squeezing in the top. When you have done 12 up to 15 reps, you are putting away the barbell and taking a weight plate, placing it over your knees or over your quads and pushing it up. This exercise is really challenging, so stay focused and work through it. 12 up to 15 reps in this one as well, and we are doing three sets total. Next up is the cable pull through. So this is also a really good exercise for the booty. And we are working with the squeeze once again. Four set times 12 reps. Last exercise coming up guys and this is in the abductor machine. So we are gonna work in two different angles in this. So we're first gonna sit back just regular and then leaning a little bit forward and pressing out the weights. This is also really challenging, so don't give up and keep going and keep focused. Three set times 12 up to 15 reps. And then we are done. Good job guys. I hope that you liked the video and I hope that you are sore in your booty. Like when I train my booty, uh, my legs are taking over like my entire lower body. Uh, I have 
quite big hamstrings and also quads. Something that I am really proud of and of course I have worked so hard for my legs but my booty hasn't like no it has stopped like a while ago and my legs are continuing to grow but my booty isn't because my hamstrings are taking over like I have to concentrate so damn hard to find the contact just in the booty if I if I do uh, a squeeze or if I do a hip thrust I have to concentrate so hard to get the booty to work and not my hamstrings so that is my problem and that is what I am struggling with and if you might know what I am talking about um, that you have problems with finding the right contact in the booty this workout is for you okay so for example when you see girls talking about squats, like do you even squat or yes I squat or squat challenge or squat squat squats all over, um, squats, squats is really really good, uh, trust me, yeah, of course they are good, they, there is, um, squats is a really really good exercise to do. I'm not telling you not to do squats. If you love to do squats, then of course do it because it is a really, really good exercise to do. But it isn't just the squats that build the booty. I never do squats because I think it's boring, honestly. Uh, sometimes I do it, of course, uh, because it is a, a good exercise. Uh, but I don't believe that that you can build a bubble butt booty just by doing squats. It has so many other ways, there is so many other ways to do it than just squats. And uh, that, uh, and because of this I have made this video and the part one booty video uh, because I want to show you that you can do other exercises for the booty and get the right contact in the booty because when I'm doing squats I don't feel it in my booty that's my problem I feel it just in my legs only in my legs and not so much in my booty and maybe yeah I'm doing it wrong I don't know but maybe you also are one of those girls who know what I'm talking about like of course squats is a really good exercise but I don't feel it in my booty and I don't know what girls are talking about, like squat booty. Okay, so that is the main thing of this video and the part one video. If you have missed it, check it out. So when I train my booty, I aim for smaller weights and high reps and high, uh, high sets. Because I rather have small weights and know what I'm doing and feel what muscle is working during the exercise than just press up the weights like quickly or yeah you know what I mean um, I want to feel the contact in my muscles and this also it's really important that you have the concentration going so you can't like mm, na, 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 and look at everything else because you have to have the concentration in the exercise when you do it because when you are in the exercise and when you are concentrating you can feel like which part of the muscle is working if you are pressing with the booty or if you are pressing with the hamstrings for example so when you are chasing the right contact a tip from me is to use the heels like press from the heels because that is going to give you a good contact in the booty uh, it helps me so much when I'm doing it, like presses or uh, when I'm standing up and doing uh, uh, sumo squats or something like that. It is so good to have the heels, like in almost every, every exercise I do for the booty, I use my heels and press from my heels and up. So you get that squeeze in the top of the exercise. But to sum up this video and the booty part one, and booty part two this video um, this is to simply show you guys that we can do other exercises than squats uh, and presses and stuff like that we can do other exercises 
for the booty and these exercises is to find the contact in the booty working with lower uh, lower weights but higher reps and higher sets um, to find to concentrate on finding the right contact that is what it's all about you don't have to have so much weights uh, in this game you have to find the contact and challenge yourself in all of this so I hope that you like this video guys if you want me to do more of this comment below and we can support each other and um, build that bubble butt booty together yes so thank you for watching have an amazing day subscribe my youtube and don't forget to press on this little uh, bell so you know when I'm posting my videos and so you won't miss anything and any workout and any workout tips from me. Have an awesome day. Bye.